Okay. So, so far we uh, saw the collection framework, like collection interface and under collection interface list. And list uh, is holding two classes, array list and link list. Okay. Now we'll see today another interface. So this is collection. This is collection. And one was list. List already we covered. This is interface. Now we'll see set. Set is also style interface of collection. Okay. Under set, we have classes. So one is has set. This is class, and another is link has set. So this both class implements set interface. Link has set. So these two are class as set and link as set and both implement set interface. Okay. Now today we'll focus on set interface, all the methods, everything. Okay. So <clears throat> what uh, there are a few points we should know about has set. Okay. What is has set? Has set is a class of set interface, right? Okay. So points. What are the points? Number one. Duplicates are not allowed. We saw in previous uh, list interface, array list or link list, duplicates are allowed, right? But in case of uh, list set, right, means has set, duplicates are not allowed. Duplicate means duplicate values are not allowed. Okay. Number two, insertion order. Session order not maintain. Maintain means insertion means it's uh, arranged randomly. Okay, so no no sequence like it's uh, randomly it's managing. So insertion order not maintain. Third point is use set when performance perform search operation okay perform search operation when we do more search in uh, per, per operations in that case we use has set number four point has set allows null value okay that we'll see uh, what is null value and all but just for the time being we should remember that set allowed null value so you will not get any exception uh, array index out of bound exception because it's allowed null value so that we'll see in a real time practice has set initialize Initial default default capacity capacity is sixteen. Okay, 
that we'll explain. Number seven, six, load factor is 0 0.75. 16. I will explain. Okay. So these are the points. Okay. So in has set duplicates are not allowed. Insertion order not maintained. Use has set when perform search operations mode. Okay. Has set allows null value. Has set initial default capacity is 16 and load factor is 0 0.75. Okay. So let me explain this to five and six. So what is uh, initial capacity? So the moment you uh, create object for uh, asset, right? So in memory allocation, so the initial, like you will get 16 spaces. The four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, sixteen. So suppose this is zero, one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and sixteen. Okay. So not this one. So zero one to zero to fifteen. So by default initial capacity would be 16 okay it will create it will uh, allocate 16 you know uh, by default this is what the headset uh, you know using headset we can get okay now what is load factor of 75 so basically load factor means uh, default is 0 0.75 means 16 right so 16 if we want to divide of 75, right, then it would be what? 12, right? For 16, it would be 12, 75. So the moment you, uh, you know, cross 12, automatically it will create another new asset. Okay. So this default is saying load factor is when you till 12 out of 16, you can use this after once you cross from 12 to 13 automatically it will uh, your gb will create uh, like memory allocate another asset of 16s again okay that's how the load factor works but this load factor can be customized you can customize if you want 90 percent you can say like 90 percent i want and the initial capacity also you can customize. Suppose I want 100. So you can do 100, 1000, whatever. That also you can increase. So the load capacity is 75% of the uh, actual size. Okay. And the initial capacity is how much you want to do the index. So if I 1000, then Obviously, load factor, if you want to keep 75 by default, right, then 750 entries you can do, right? That's that's what the load factor means. Okay. Now, syntax. So, syntax is as said, suppose I want to store homogeneous data, right? Then integer right suppose numbers numbers equal to new set 
this is again optional and here you can pass what capacity you want for example if you want to make it default then it would be default right but if you want to specify suppose i want 10 here okay 10 is what my initial capacity should 10 for example you can make any number but i'm saying just it's 10 comma and the load factor should be 0 0.6 means 60 percent okay for 10 60 percent that's how we can parameterize okay. what you want exactly so this is how uh, it works the load factor things okay now let's create new package for today Okay, let's create a class. Class name. Asset. Oh. So this is asset. Okay. okay. Now, one main method. Okay, this is the main method. Now syntax. Syntax. How it would be? So syntax. Asset. Any data type you can put, right? Any data type, for example, anything. Any data type and suppose number something equal to new is set this is also optional okay and here you can put so that we already saw if you want to customize, right? If you want to go with the people, so this is the syntax. So you have to enter any data type here. Okay, it could be integer, it could be string, whatever, and then this is what. Okay, now let's see all the methods. What are the available? Okay, so we have for insert, insert, right? For insert element to headset okay insert element to headset we have add method will insert so it will insert the specific element to the set that is nothing interface right this is one method another method we have add all methods add all so again insert all the elements of the specific collection action to the set this is a use of all similarly remove remove it will remove right remove specific element then remove all again it will remove a specific collection right specific collection specific element this is the use now other methods also available contains right contains 
contains method so it's basically what search of search operation we do search the <clears throat> element right element and it returns boolean boolean well true or false contains we saw in previous classes another method is there is empty is empty uh, also checks if the uh, if the has is empty or available so again it is uh, return the true or false boolean then we saw size method right size method method we saw then we have clear method that also we saw these are the methods right so <clears throat> what happened in in java right hat set is commonly used if we have to access elements randomly okay or search operation basically if you don't you want to do any search operation in that case we prefer hash set and it is because elements in hash set table are accessed by hash codes so hash code is a uh, technology they use for hash uh, hash set okay means uh, the set interface so internally it access the hash codes that is why the hash code of the element is unique identified that is why duplicates are not allowed okay so this is the uh, you know use of hash and it's internally even because it's implement the hash table and all okay so basically and so here one more point sorting is not <coughs> possible in hash set okay sorting sorting is not possible in hash set we'll see everything okay so these are the methods now let's let's create object first and we'll see how it works okay so declare has set okay how to declare so i'm saying has set okay has set you can import just i'm importing has now because this is the object name which is equal to new has set okay has set so this is the now you have to pass it right if you want to pass then what you will pass suppose integer right suppose i want to pass if this is homogeneous similarly if i come in this one right and i just remove this then it will become homo plus heterogeneous means any kind of data we can store it the moment we specify here within the tag then uh, that means it's a homogeneous okay now let's use the first one itself or anyway let's use the second one homo plus heterogeneous okay now we have created object now insert element okay so how to insert element so i'm saying hs object dot add method now again i'm taking post funda which is dot add taking pmw hs dot add 
then maruti okay. so now if i do print system dot out dot print ln so i have to print hs right now let's first print it. Okay, now it is coming BMW Maruti Honda. Okay, so let's go here. Duplicates are not allowed, right? In headset. So, how to check them? So, duplicate means suppose I just copied and pasted. Okay, so ideally, <clears throat> I should have four times, right? Four, did, like a BMW Maruti should be twice and Honda one time. It should print. Let's try. Can you see? So Maruti is only printing once. So it is not allowing duplicate values at all. So that is why I mentioned duplicates are not allowed in headset. Okay. okay. Let me delete this one. So duplicate are not allowed. Okay. And also insertion order not maintained. We saw, right? Uh, it's coming first BMW. Right, but BMW is in one uh, index position, right? Maruti is, is on second position, Honda is zero position, but insertion order order is not maintaining. It's coming randomly, right? Whatever it's just randomly. So that that is why insertion order also not maintained in has set. It can be uh, give the output randomly. Okay. So this is what. Uh, duplicate and insertion order. Okay, now let's see um, other methods. Add all. So what it will do? Add all method. It will suppose you want to add, right? So we have already said like add all. So insert specific element, right? The elements of from the any collection. So add all. Now let's say we have to create another object. As said, now this this is I am giving string as homogeneous string, and this is I'm saying cars equal to new as said and Okay, so this cards is another right object. So this is also collection. Okay. Now what I'm going to do cards dot add method so string parameter. So again I'm saying Hyundai. Okay, Hyundai cards dot add then Suppose Beto, for example. So I have had it two. Now, how add all will work? So now we have to use add all, na? add all. So add all basically, if you want to add any one collection to another collection, that is the use of uh, add all. Okay. So now. What I have to do? HS. So HS is our first object, right? Now I'm saying add all. Okay. Now the moment you say add all, you have to pass the second collection object. So this is cars. Now 
we have added now if i do print system dot out dot print element right now i should print which one hs or cars hs right because we are shifting all class uh, cars of uh, objects or elements to hs so we should print this and all these five should be part of hs okay now let's run it okay here we can do voice was right same class no, dot add right. inside we hs then print cars yeah why this also we can do it okay now you see this uh, toyota hyundai bmw maruti honda everything is uh, part of hs and also you see the insertion order also not mentioned toyota was last one but it is printing on first right so always remember duplicates and the insertion order not maintain in hash set okay now let's uh, do let's check the remove one already we did but anyway i just wanted to repeat the same thing okay so you will remember for a long time okay so remove so remove means what basically remove will specific element if you want to write so it will remove so for example now everything under cars object we don't have anything right everything move to hs so i will remove element from hs only hs dot remove okay now you have to pass the object right which one you want to remove so i want to remove bmw right bmw now then again print the pages case since if you say if you are giving bmw in small letters will still it get removed or not it's a case sensitive right okay it it is a case sensitive if i do if you make any changes also it will it will go and check and uh, try to see whether it is there or not if everything is uh, lower case obviously this is not considering this bmw case okay. and this is it's taking it a uh, different altogether okay 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 so so now let's i'm going to remove bmw and now if i print hs right so after that it should not be part of bmw should not be part of the list now you see bmw is not part of the list bmw was there and it was removed and what uh, okay we will saw that one okay now i'm saying bmw okay let's do this so you can see still it is uh, printing the bmw because this bmw is not uh, present right uh, in the element so this is considering it's considering a different one so it is this remove function is not at all working okay yeah. so it should match whatever the data it it should exactly match what you want to do uh, the function on that okay mm -hmm. now remove all remove all method so basically again remove all is remove all means uh, you want to remove specific collection that is the use of remove so we have a uh, one collection right that is what uh, which collection there are two collection cars collection and hs collection right so now i want to remove from hs dot remove 
remove all which cards i don't want cards at all i should it should remove now now the moment i use this and print now the hs then what happened is toyota and hyundai should not be part of hs collection right because we are removing cars so car will be zero there would be no elements uh, you know presence under car because we are removing all so removing all means complete collection only we are removing so you will not uh, see this hyundai and toyota under cars the moment you use remove all so now you see uh, why these two because here we bmw already removed that is why we have only maruti and honda okay bmw we already removed right that is why we have two otherwise only we'll see from the hs collection or hs list okay this is what the use of remove all now contains contains method right so but it does contain method search the element and return group uh, boolean value okay now how to check negative and positive both suppose i am saying system dot out dot print ln and hs dot contains okay and now which one we remove bmw just copy and paste it so my expectation should be false right contains means if it's available return true or else false just try so bmw is no longer available right so let's try i should get false now you can see this is coming false because bmw is not there we have removed it now what about maruti if we do for maruti then yes it should be true because maruti is uh, still available right so we should get a true as a return so this is what the contain method works uh, contains it will uh, go and search if the element is present or not now see it is coming true right so this is what the can contains method works okay now contain alls okay there is another method maybe i missed out or not okay yeah so contains all also there so contain contains all similar similar function now here it is checking only element right but here it will check the collection entire collection okay the same the way we have add all remove all right the moment you say remove all means collection remove add all means collection similarly when you say contains all it means collection okay now how to do that so i am again printing system dot out dot print ln right now what i am going to do is our first object hs right dot contains all so you can see contains all collection okay now which we have another collection right cars collection so i want to see if car collection already presents or not so what should be the answer the return should be false right because yeah. already i removed it car now if i return it then it will come as a false because we removed it let's try now it is false okay now what should my output then 
True. Yeah, because we have commented, right? The remove all cars. So yes, we are searching for cars elements, all the list of elements. Yes, we have. So it will return as a true. So this is the use of contains all methods. Mm. Uh, and Makkal, like say example, right? Uh, the, like for, instead of first car in the Maruti, right? Instead of VM, can we replace it as dollar and we can search it? Or like you can use asterisk or we can search over here or like it is possible or not? What, what is your question? Like say there is a character like say in Marth, like BMW right in BMW there is like three letters so the first mm -hmm. uh, the first letter can I replace with an dollar or can I replace with an asterisk and uh, the other two letter BMW I can do it that I I have to check because in real time we don't use but yeah okay. we can check. we can check. Mm -hmm. Some special character you want to replace yeah. it, right? Yeah, some special character. Say if we don't know the exact word, right? The first letter yeah. we'll be replacing it, now. Yeah, yeah, got got your point. Yeah, the replace method. Yeah, we will try. We'll see that. Okay. 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 Now uh, the another method is uh, is empty. Is empty. So is empty also returns true or false boolean. Okay, so is empty. What it will do? Suppose system dot out dot print ln. So suppose I am saying cars dot empty. So what we did already? If I commented cars, it's available, right? Now if I print this statement, then it should return true, right? Because it's there, we have not removed it. Is empty will also check whether the collection is available or not. Okay, so um, uh, and also if it's uh, there, then it will return true or else false. So this is the use of is empty method. Now it is coming false. Why car? What happened with cars? Is empty. You are coming, you are commented, right? Oh, one second. Like if it is empty, then it will display, right? Yeah, yeah, that's correct. So if empty, now it's not empty. Okay, let me just see the car one. I have just commented. Okay. So it is saying is empty car, then if yes, then obviously it will return. Let me run it. Okay, so it is saying the car is empty. The question mark, for example, no, that means car is not empty. We have all the methods, right? cars all the all the elements so that is returning now false suppose the moment i say this one right means we are removing car now it is showing false right it is showing false now if i run then it should return true right is empty yes is empty because we have removed car collection cars collection so now i should get what true or false tell me true we saw in previous classes see the is empty how it works Anywhere. So it is basically what it will tell you. Let me run once. 
is it empty or not is empty no is not empty that's what he's saying it has the moment Okay, now we are getting false. Okay, it's showing. It says no, uh, no to uh, not empty, right? So now what I'm saying, cars dot remove all. Okay. Or I can say is empty. Cars dot remove all without the print talent and remove all is our suppose. Okay, now HS. Okay, let me try. It's coming default false man. I don't know why. Okay. If you remove false after. No, no, no. Wait, I made the mistake. It should be default. No, in my system, it's showing uh, false only. One second. Remove all. Okay, so we are removing HS. So technically it should be empty. I don't know, I will check. Okay, this one why it is coming false every time. Okay, is empty, we'll check later. I will let you know. I don't know if that uh, previous classes it was working fine, but I have to check again. Okay, so and again, we have another method called size method, right? So size is nothing, we'll just give you a list of like size of the collection, right? Can so, have a question here? Yes. I mean to remove now. So when you're adding a uh, first collection dot removal again inside you're mentioning second collection, right? Yes. So when you're printing a uh, first collection or second collection, so it's, it's, it's printing. Why? Try that one. Which one you're saying? Removal. Removal. Go, go to the removal. Line number. Where it is? Uh, right, uh, 45. 45 for 46 47 huh? comment out okay. we can run a deco hs you're removing inside the car car is going to remove right, right. Print, that one. print only that two forty six forty seven. Yeah. So we won't die or try to nay because you removed cars. Okay. So in the print, uh, you remove the touches, add cars. Which one? HS? Yeah, in print, in print only. Hmm. In print, remove the touches, hmm. add cars. Print now. Okay. Printing only uh, one day at Toyota and it's removed uh, HS. Yeah, car should be empty now. Car empty. Just... Yeah, over. yeah, it should be empty car, right? But it, it is printing. No, it should not print. 
see it's removed hs So it over Hyundai. So this one, yeah. Let me print one more time. Because what happened? See here, HS, right? HS initially, HS was there. Okay, HS all three. Now what we did for cars, we added to HS this thing. We have to comment now first, right? Okay. Because we are adding. No? Let's try this. Because we are printing what happened, we are adding and then we are removing cars, then we are printing cars. Again, no, it is coming. You know, with that, because that is only for adding all, okay? This is removing. It's only inter between first collection and second collection. Right, right. Let me come in. Commented all this and see now this print. print only happened. cars only. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Fine. Why? Or else, or else one thing, uh, Makan. That entire now, uh, that 46 ka hai na, pura print ke andar dal do. Check now. Remove this car, yeah. 46 of pura wo copy kar le, cut, ah, print. Isko comment kar de, comment out. Which one, 47? Yeah, 47. Hmm. Now print. Now we get only HS ka hai na, data. All right, only because we are removing HS dot remove of cars. Cars we are removing, right? Yes. But it is still going to work. Some mess up. The object is correct. Yeah, can I can ash set? We are not declaring any, right? No, no, uh, that is optional. That is optional. That you can pass or you can't pass. That doesn't matter. It's not talking false or a boolean also and uh, remove all thing wrong. Okay, we'll check. I think we'll check okay. that one. But you know the function, right? How it works in previous classes and all. Remove all how it works. So that will continue. Otherwise, okay. But bro, see, see, whenever we are calling this list now from other classes, so every time you need to write this object. Ash, uh, yeah. string, uska, yes. huh? yes. then you have to remove. Yeah, we have to first call it, right? If from other class also, first you have to create the object, right? Then only you will perform all the action. Huh? Okay, so based on the collection, so they written in the set or list or array list, uske dekhe hum idhar object create karna padega, na? Correct, correct. Mm -hmm. So. This is homo plus heterogeneous and this is homogeneous. So you can mention both based on that. Okay. Let's uh, to call those things data. Sorry. Shortcut nahi hai kya? Every time we need to write this object. Ah, object you have to type na. This is uh, case sensitive, right? No shortcut. You have to type it. Okay. Maybe you just uh, in IntelliJ, maybe the moment you type hash like this, you may get options, right? Just use tab. You are getting, but I prefer to type it so you can remember, like if it's a case sensitive. Because if I simply say hash set, it doesn't mean it, like for Java point of view, it is showing error, right? Because it is not understanding what you type it. No, bro, in case it's in another package, mein rahega, okay? We need to call that one, okay? In package on my yeah. data, pura package, I need to call You can get the pop up now, suggestions will be there, right? Okay. This thing will. Okay. So these are the methods under the uh, headset. Now we'll see how to element, uh, read element, right? Using uh, for each loop or uh, iterator. We saw that. Again, 
will uh, you know going to uh, do okay read uh, element of has set using for each loop okay how to do that so the syntax is for bracket start now it we have two different sets of data right uh, string and uh, means any kind of data means hetero plus homogeneous so in this case you can use object okay object e e is nothing just any uh, you are uh, giving a name okay and now from which one you want to iterate or read from which one so suppose i want to read from hs so here you pass the object of first collection hs now bracket start bracket close system dot out dot print element now here what happens the object when you say object right so it will uh, able to access any data type okay so that's why object object also is it i already mentioned and it uh, like uh, it can handle both the kind of data types okay so uh, we have not specific uh, specified to string or integer or anything right so object means it's a homo plus uh, heterogeneous both okay now now we have to print right so from here so this is the syntax now here you will pass the object variable okay so now if you print so it one by data is available okay i have to remove this one okay so you can see it is coming bmw i don't know this false value is coming from where we have only one system dot print out let me run again something happened i think with my code or don't know traverse uh, all the elements so iterator in its interface iterator and for this create any object a b c d i am saying i b equal to h s this is our right h s now we'll see cars cars also we have dot what we have to do one mm -hmm. method is iterator okay so <coughs> this will iterate okay now what we have to do we have to say while loop we have to use now the iterator object it dot has next okay has next then bracket start now you will see system dot out of print ln and now you will you will pass the this one it or what Tell me, I have shown you what to do in previous classes. It dot one. Next. Next. So if I run same the way we did for each, we can also uh, you know uh, read the value elements uh, using iterator. So iterator actually one method is available. Okay. So 
this method using this method we can perform so we have now two because we are calling car object that's why we are getting two now okay so this is the use of iterator so any confusion or you don't understand let me know we have covered all the okay one more method okay sorry let me comment this okay so we have a method call suppose for example uh, method name let me write uh, retain all okay retain all method okay so what is it means for example <clears throat> You want to retain okay so we have now example we have two objects right cars and ages okay now what i'm saying this cars object the second one cars object dot retain retain all what we have to pass the another collection so another collection is the one, this one, right? Ages. So you want to retain. I want to retain this one. And this is how the retain all will go. Now system dot out dot print ln. Now what I'm saying, print which one now? Cars. Because car is retaining HS elements, right? Now let's print. You can see this is coming zero, right? Okay. Now let me explain. What does it mean? For that, I have to create another class. This retain method. Okay. This is also very important method. Okay. Let me close. Let's say code. Okay. Now one main method. Okay. Now I'm saying has set. set and i am saying this is integer this is integer and suppose set one okay and new has set and here we are just leaving or you can pass it it's optional anyway but you can pass it no harm okay this is one okay now what i am saying set one dot add so i cannot add any different right boolean or some this kind of thing will not allow right because it's a homogeneous so suppose i'm entering 10 now here i'm saying 20 right here i'm saying 30 okay so we have for example we have four elements from collection one just copy this one from here and create just make change to two and here what you are saying so retain all right basically retain all it will what it will see it will check if anything is common from here or not okay retain suppose i am saying 10 20 for example this is i am saying 60 and this is 40 now here i am saying 10 20 30 40 okay 40 now what will happen suppose so if i want to perform okay if i want to perform before retain all there are more union of two 
sets one and two. Okay, so I want to see union of set one and two. Okay, now sorry, this should be two, right? should tell if I do any mistake. Okay, now this is for two, this is for one. So we have to check the union of two sets. Okay, now what I have to do? I am saying spec two dot add all. So first we are adding set one to set two, right? This is what we did. Now system dot out dot print and then what I am saying just message union is at two right now let's print this so mostly all the values are similar like 10 20 10 20 uh, 40 also we have there 60 and here is 30. So in, in in first set, we don't have 30. Okay, so union, right? Union of two sets. So basically what it will do, so it's basically adding, right? We are adding uh, union, see. 20, 40, 10, 60, 30. So whichever is common, right? So suppose 10. 10 is available here also, here also, right? Okay. Now, 20. 20 is available here and here also. Okay. Now, 30. Okay. You, we, we are doing, so duplicates, right? Basically, union is, for example, here we have 40. Here also is 40, but it will, it is common, so it will take once. 40. Now, Makan uh, in in sets, right? Duplicates are not allowed, right? So, yeah, that, yeah, that is what. So, duplicates it is only taking one time, right? So, okay. 40 here also 40, it is only taking one time, okay? It will only allow one. So, 40. So, we are union. So, union means basically it will only check if in both the places is available and also we. Uh, the very beginning only mentioned duplicates are not allowed. See, so in that case, it will only pick one. So it is picking again 61, right? Then again, it is checking 30. It will take it only unique value, right? Unique value. Union means just unique, means uh, one time uh, it will take, right? Okay. Duplicate will not take. So this is what the use of union, okay? Now, there is another thing. <clears throat> Retain all, right? Retain all uh, method. So it's basically um, insertion common elements from both the collection. Let me write definition, then you will understand clearly. Okay, so insertion, it will, uh, the method which you use retain all, for example, okay, retain all. This is the method, and what is the purpose of this method? Uh, so it will, like common elements, right? From this, the common, it will retain all. It will retain all the common, okay. To do that, suppose we have set to dot retain retain all right so retain all basically it's a collection we have to pass so we have set one collection so this is the set one collection now what i'm doing system dot out dot print and and print set two right so here we will check for set two okay because set two is uh, retaining Right, so we indirectly or directly it is set one is a part of set two. Now, if I print, let me just comment this one, and now I will print retain all. So the common right, the common element from both will get printed. 
so we should get 10 20 then 40 right 10 20 40 so our 10 20 40 these are the common for both the places so it will retain So it is coming in insertion order is also not maintained. I said insertion order not maintained. So it is coming 10, 20, right? And because these are the common. Okay. This is one method. Let me come it again. Okay. Now another is there. Suppose you want to make the different different of set one and set two, right? different what is the different means not match right uh, something is not match not common right the different so what you have to do suppose you're saying set one dot remove all set two okay Remove all set to now suppose system dot out dot print ln and suppose different okay simple message set set two okay. no, set one two. So basically, one uh, set one uh, is dividing uh, divided by set two. Now, if you print, you can see it's sixty. Set one is printing sixty. So this is the difference of set one, set two. Any question? Hey, Mira, so written ka, I'm getting both the uh, what means whatever values is now unique unique chord ke baki bhi aara hai. Means you said right, written means whatever matching uh, set one, set two, those data is going to print right. Hmm. But here. When I'm trying to in my system now, which is not in set one, that data also is printing bro. Okay. So you are talking about retain all method. Oh yeah, retain all. See, See set one, which... I kept 30, 40, 50. Okay. Set two, I kept 30, 40 only. Okay. So when I'm running this retain all now, it should give only 30, 40, right? Yeah. So, so which one is set... retain? Mm -hmm. Retain, retain what you did. Uh, retain set one or set two. It should be like this. Yeah, same, set. same, same. You might have uh, not changed the this one. Which object. One? This one also is two or one. Mine is different. Why any any one I kept okay, one and two. Okay. So okay, yeah, yeah, maybe correct. You might have, uh, you have to change this one. You just copy it might be from here, not change the objects. No, anyway, I'm getting same. Okay, not you can pass the paste code. I can make the changes on that. Yeah, I'll paste okay. only. Okay, so, so far we have covered has set. Now we'll see uh, on collection only, the another one is link has set. Okay. Uh, so Markman, just one question that uh, has set will work with the string values also, right? Or it's yeah, only yeah, for the... No, no, any kind of heterogeneous, homogeneous, both will work. Okay. Uh, okay. Yeah. Tell Rupi. No, okay. I'll try to ask you. Okay. 
ठीक है तो ऑब्जेक्ट इट डिपेंड्स ऑन द ऑब्जेक्ट आप कैसे ऑब्जेक्ट क्रिएट करते हो राइट इट बेस्ड ऑन अगर आप ऐसे ऑब्जेक्ट क्रिएट करोगे देन होमोजीनियस प्लस हेट्रोजीनियस दोनों आप यूज कर पाओगे बट अगर आप यहां पे स्पेसिफिक स्पेसिफिकली बोल दोगे स्ट्रिंग तो सिर्फ स्ट्रिंग ही कर पाओगे तो ये okay. दोनों है तो यहां पे इंटीजर भी लिख सकते हो यहां पे स्ट्रिंग भी लिख सकते हो या तो नॉर्मल ऐसे भी कर सकते हो उसमें आप कुछ भी ऐड कर सकते हो एनीथिंग गॉट इट तो अब लेट्स डिस्कस अबाउट लिंक हेडसेट बिफोर वी you know go to link headset we should know the difference between headset and link headset what is the difference okay so in headset we <clears throat> saw that uh, duplicates not allowed right we saw so today i will just uh, give uh, overview okay uh, then monday we'll see this is headset and this is link headset okay okay what is the difference between two okay so <clears throat> duplicate right so duplicate in headset we saw duplicates are not allowed right not allowed but in link headset duplicates are allowed second thing insertion order we saw right you understand the insertion order now right it was randomly like zero index printing sometimes 10 5 p position like this so insertion order not maintained right it's not maintained in has set it was not maintained however in link has set it is maintained okay it is maintained so default capacity okay we saw that default capacity it's 16 for both the places Default capacity sixteen. Okay. Default capacity is sixteen, and load factor. Load factor. If now anyone ask you what is load factor, you can explain, right? What is the uh, use of load factor? What you can do with the load factor? so uh, for both the cases same only 16 and here also 0.75 okay these uh, are by ye mere ko samajh nahi aa raha or default 16 or load factor 75 can you please repeat on what okay. okay so when i say default so Yeah, uh, do you remember when we uh, uh, when we uh, you know uh, like uh, understand array concept, right? Array. What is the default size for array? So okay, I uh, array ka ten na no? Yes, correct. The way the default is array array mein kya hota hai when you create a array right so internally memory allocation will be there it will be assigned 10 location okay for your array list this way it will like 1 to uh, 0 to 10 you will have okay this is what for array similarly when you create the object for hash set right now the jvm is responsible when you create object so jvm jvm is responsible the moment you say new keyword right new hash set new hash set jvm will 
create give you the memory location and you can store 16 like there would be 16 container okay by default you will get 16 container this is what the default capacity initial capacity the way we have in array 10 right so this is default so now here you will have 0 to 16 like this you have you will have all this okay Akan, Call it 10, again. we can create more than that, right? Uh, Raghu, default, jo hota hai na, wo, uh, systematically default hota hai. Programmatically, us, wo default diya hai. Ab, abhi, agar kisi ko zada space chahi, then we can go for it. Implicit, explicitly, we have to increase the size, na? Ab forcefully add kar rho, right? The size you are increasing. The there number of some... talking when you are creating objective inside the flow, square packet you are giving, right? Five, six, that is what you are talking right here. That numbers. Yeah, the indexing position, like zero. Yeah, position, position, right? position, one, so, three, example, three. I have 10 means I'm going to give, I can add up to 10, right? We cannot add more than right. that. If you add more right. than that, you'll get error. Hmm? Right, right. So, yeah, by that's default, what you're talking here. Yes, so by default, JBM will create mem it will create memory allocation as a initial 16. Till 16, you can up, up, upload. Okay, means uh, store the data. And now load factor. What is load factor? Means it's a standardized like what they did. So till suppose for 16, 75%, how much? It would be 12, right? 75% mm -hmm. would be 12, na? The moment you reach till 12, suppose there is a 12, JBM again will create another memory allocation. Like it will create another, uh, you know, list for you. Again for 16. If you don't customize, we saw even customization under bracket, right? First, you have to pass the limitation. Suppose I want till 100, then comma, and what percentage? I want 90% or 80%, point. 80.90 this way if you do if you close it work okay this is the uh, use of load factor but by default should be there na, something right system the, right system will or like automatically it will initial phase only it will allocate for you 16 okay, okay. 16 they will that create. The memory it will take in the system. Okay. Right. By default. Now, if based on your utilization, you can customize the number of uh, elements you want to store. Suppose I want to store 100, then I will go with 100. And now, suppose 0.80% you want to occupy. 0.80% you want to occupy the memory, right? So you can put, you can pass in parameter. Here is the parameter you see, right? All we done this uh, create the object. If you, if I say, sorry, say 1000, there is no issue, no harm. You can go for it. 0.99%. Okay, you can see here load factor automatically it come and initial capacity you see. That Wait, means load factor ka hai? Okay, uh, one second. Load factor and for example, um, a container hai, okay? Mm -hmm. Ek container hai. So, is me hum pura bhi pani wo kar sakte na, bottle, ye pani ka bottle hai, pura bhi fill kar sakte, right? Correct. So, hum bol rahe ki mera 750 ml hone ke baad मुझे और इसमें पानी नहीं डालना है क्योंकि मुझे ट्रैवलिंग करना है तो पानी गिर सकता है तो सपोज टिल दिस मच यू रीच तुमने बोला कि इतना ही मुझे पानी स्टोर करना है उससे ज्यादा इसमें स्टोर मत करो यू गेव समवन इंस्ट्रक्शन नॉट टू पुट आफ्टर 75 ml 
then that person suppose has more than 75 right 750 ml what mm. he will do he will give you another bottle whatever remains right he will say okay and now 250 ml is there i am putting in another bottle so this is you are giving the threshold don't exceed okay the memory of uh, allocation don't exceed till uh, 75% okay 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 once you exceed if my memory allocation is exceeding means i am uh, filling the water above 75 ml Mm. We will put to new one, new container, not Order here. Play. Okay. But now, if you want to customize, you said okay. I don't need two different bottle. Do one thing. I will customize what I want. You bought one big bottle, two liters of bottle. Okay, two liters of bottle. This is what. This is your initial capacity. Okay, two liters. Yeah. But you. only 1 liter so easily 1 liter will fill and also you said load factor means uh, you said someone i i am okay if you are even filling 1 1.5 liter so 1.5 liter also fine that you are deciding your load factor okay, okay. okay. you will not you will not forget this example okay for next 10 years What is in it? <laughs> okay. So this is this is used because to make your code lighter. Right. Okay. So performance also like uh, when you do right the performance. Suppose now see this example. You bought two liter bottle, but you are not using because you are only keeping one liter. So this memory is unnecessary uh, created in the memory, right? It it is occupying unnecessary. That is why there is a procedure you can you can make the changes. Like uh, you can you don't want to waste your memory whatever is available, right? The moment you create any object using new keyword, uh, new keyword, right? It will create some memory allocation. Okay, it will create some space for that new whatever the object you create. It will create. Suppose you created five. you know five uh, objects it will create five different but you are not using those unnecessary you are just blocking some memory right you are not utilizing those that is why what happen you have the option to customize based utna hi lo na pa sako that's what they are telling so you can customize i want 100 i want this should go till this much or that for the load capacity okay this is the example don't uh, do drip drive on this just understand simple way what is initial load capacity and what is your load factor okay one is initial uh, default capacity and load factor just basic level you should know that's better that's okay okay so tomorrow um, we'll see next class what it is okay so for today uh, we can just point up the call